Hey guys, it's Maddie, and today I'm going to be explaining every song on 1989. Let's get started. The first track, Welcome to New York, is the perfect opening track to a very cityscape-like album. Taylor discusses her instant excitement as she enters the city. New York is known as the city of dreams, and she sings about how everyone who lives there wanted something more and went there to chase their dreams. Taylor has always expressed her love for the city and how it represents new beginnings and excitement. Blank Space is a satire song based on the way that the media portrays her as a serial dater. Many of the lines in the song mock the public perception of Taylor's dating life and that she enters unstable relationships knowingly. Basically, the song jokes about a relationship and how Taylor always seems to end up ruining it. For the duration of her career, she's been criticized for her dating life with remarks about the number of men she's dated or the periods of time in between her relationships. She makes light of this in blank space. Taylor, I won't make assumptions about why you titled this track Style, but I think it's because of Harry. The song is about two people who always seem to end up going back to each other, regardless of how much time has passed or any mistakes that either party made. In the chorus, she sings about things that are seen as classic and things that just don't go out of style, like white t-shirts and red lipstick. In Out of the Woods, Taylor discusses her anxieties while navigating through a very public relationship where everyone is watching and commenting on it. She says that during this relationship, she was constantly asking, are we okay yet? Are we going to make it to next week? Essentially, the relationship was fragile, but one that she obviously cared a lot about and cherished. The entire chorus consists of the rhetorical question, are we out of the woods? And the listener already knows that relationship didn't make it through the turmoil. All You Had to Do Was Stay is an appropriately emotional track five. It discusses the indecision of her lover and how they were all she wanted. She says that the song is based on a dream that she had that her ex showed up at her door and although she thought she knew the perfect thing to say, all that would come out of her mouth was stay. She wants them back, but is hesitant because of the pain that she has endured because of them. Shake It Off is a lighthearted track that everyone knows. In Shake It Off, Taylor dresses her haters and encourages those who face criticism to simply shake it off and move on. She basically says that people are going to say what they're going to say, and you can't change that, so it's better to just move on rather than wasting any more time or energy on it. I Wish You Would is one of my favorite tracks on 1989 that I think is criminally underrated. It's about how both parties in the relationship have no bitter feelings towards one another, even though their relationship is over, and how both of them have some kind of gravitation towards each other, but neither of them will take action towards it. She sings about wishing he would just make that move that both of them want. A fan who attended the 1989 Secret Sessions says that Taylor says that this is the first ex that she felt comfortable talking about why they didn't work out. It's rumored to be about Harry Styles, which I think is very true, because he bought a house one street adjacent to hers and would accidentally turn down her street every time and that he just wanted to pull into the driveway and see her, but he never did. Hence the mentions of headlights and her sitting in her bedroom, wishing he would. Most speculate that Bad Blood is about Katy Perry and the feud that Taylor and her had for years. It's resolved now, but at the time, it was at an all-time high. Taylor says that she was never sure if they were friends or not, but at one point she did something horrible that made Taylor believe that they were just straight-up enemies. It's a song about vengeance and reprimanding. Wildest Dreams is a song about remembering a relationship's best moments, even after they're long gone. It opens with the longing to escape from the public eye and how her lover is so seemingly perfect yet bad for her, but she doesn't care in the moment. The line, I can see the end as it begins, expresses the anticipation of failure, contrary to Taylor's old idealistic approach to relationships, that they would be the one. While the relationship was short-lived, it is one to be remembered, even if it's in her wildest dreams. How You Get the Girl is simply put a song of advice on how to get a girl back. In the chorus, she sings from the perspective of a person who has just lost their partner, telling them what would be ideal to say. I want you for worse or for better. I would wait forever and ever. The tense change in the last line, that's how you got the girl, shows that the person was successful in winning their ex over. This love reflects on the cycles of a relationship through the good and bad. The opening lines reference the tide and how the moon affects it. High tides to her represent a good start, whereas the low tides represent a poor ending. Throughout the cycle, she will still go on and on despite the hardships. Everybody knows that all of Taylor's relationships are in the public eye, which can be detrimental to a blossoming love. I Know Places is a song all about the media and how she never knows how they will report on her relationships. The line, Love's a fragile little flame, it could burn out, shows the delicacy of a new relationship and how one bad tabloid could end it all. Throughout the whole song, she draws parallels to hunting, the media being hunters and her and her lover being the foxes. She sings about simply hiding away from everyone where no one could judge the relationship but her. The song beginning and ending with the click of a recorder subtly implies that this couple is being constantly watched. Taylor thought of the concept for Clean when she was staying in London, where her ex lived, and she hadn't thought about him for the first two weeks she was there, and when she finally did think about him, all she thought of was, I hope he's doing well, and nothing else. 
She felt that in that moment, she was finally queen of the relationship, and that she had found herself again and replaced the habits of the relationship with the new ones. Fans have also found meaning in the song in different ways, whether that be mental illness, addiction, or abuse. On her tour, she always gives an inspirational speech before performing it. Wonderland uses the story of Alice in Wonderland to describe a toxic relationship and its complexities. Being in the public eye spun the relationship out of control. The only people they could trust were each other. And when they found Wonderland together, it was beautiful at first, but it was not built to last. Conceptually, the song is very similar to I Know Places. You Are In Love is a song loosely based off the relationship of Taylor's collaborator, Jack Antonoff, and his then-girlfriend and Taylor's friend, Lena. Taylor says that she wrote this as if she were commentating on the relationship, saying that all these little things happened and now you're in love. The song uses a lot of imagery. The chorus talks about how you know you're in love from hearing it in the silence, feeling it on the way home, and even seeing it in the dark. New Romantics discusses, in a satirical way, the way young adults approach love in a carefree and nonchalant way. It talks about being bored of everyday life, longing for change, and going out to find it. She somewhat addresses the haters in the song, talking about how she could build a castle out of all the bricks they threw at her, how she's making the best of the situation and building something magical. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found something new about 1989. If you have any other additional comments, comment them below. And next will probably be Speak Now because I did do Red already. And hopefully we get 1989 Taylor's version this summer. I'm really hoping for it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.